The General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, is the toughest privacy and security law in the world. Although it was drafted and passed by the European Union, it imposes obligation onto organizations anywhere, as long as they target or collect data related to people in the EU. The GDPR imposes stiff fines that are aimed at ensuring best practices for data security are too costly not to adopt. The California Consumer Privacy Act, CCPA, is created to protect personal information like the GDPR, but it's different in many aspects. For companies operating both in the US and Europe, navigating data protection laws might prove tricky. Either they can decide to reform their entire data handling practices to comply with both CCPA and GDPR, or they can set up a patchwork data protection approach that differentiates between Californians and other consumers. In the healthcare sector, national regulations apply in addition to privacy laws. This is to make sure that health data is always available to clinicians when needed and always protected from unauthorized access. There are four main areas you need to focus on when working on GDPR compliance. Lawful basis and transparency. It's about your justification for processing and the information you provide. Data security. You need technical and organizational measures for protecting personal data. Accountability and governance. You need data processing agreements and someone within your organization who will be responsible for privacy. Privacy rights. The persons that supply personal data has many rights that you need to fulfill. Organizations that have at least 250 employees or conduct higher risk data processing are required to keep an up-to-date and detailed list of their processing activities and be prepared to show that list to regulator upon request. The best way to demonstrate GDPR compliance is using a data protection impact assessment. This assessment is like a risk analysis for personal information. Processing of data is illegal under the GPR unless you can justify it according to one of the six conditions listed in Article 6 of the GDPR. You need to document your legal justification for data processing. You need to tell people that you're collecting their data and why you do it. You should explain how the data is processed, who has access to it and how you're keeping it safe. This information should be included in your privacy policy and provide it to data subjects at the time you collect their data. It must be presented in a concise, transparent, intelligible and easily accessible form, using a clear and plain language, in particular if for any information addressed specifically to a child. You must follow the principles of data protection by design and by default, including implementing appropriate technical and organizational measures to protect data. In other words, data protection is something you now have to consider whenever you do anything with other people's personal data. Most of the productivity tools used by businesses today are now available with end-to-end -end encryptions built in, including email, messaging, notes and cloud storage. The GDPR requires organizations to use encryption or pseudonymization whenever feasible. Even if your technical security is strong, operational security can still be a weak link. Create a security policy that ensures your team members are knowledgeable about data security. It should include guidance about email security, passwords, two-factor authentication, device encryption and VPNs. Employees who have access to personal data and non-technical employees should receive extra training in the requirements of the GDPR. A data protection impact assessment is a way to help you understand how your product or service could jeopardize your customers' data, as well as how to minimize those risks. If there is a data breach and personal data is exposed, you are required to notify the supervisory authority in your jurisdiction within 72 hours. Another part of data protection by design and by default is making sure someone in your organization is accountable for GDPR compliance. This person should be empowered to evaluate data protection policies and the implementation of those policies. This includes any third-party services that handle personal data of your data subjects, including analytics software, email services, cloud services, etc. 
Under certain circumstances, organizations are required to have a data protection officer, but it's not a bad idea to have one, even if the rule doesn't apply to you. The data protection officer should be an expert on data protection whose job is to monitor GDPR compliance, assess data protection risks, and advise on data protection impacts assessment. People have the right to see what personal data you have about them and how you're using it. They also have the right to know how long you plan to store that information and the reason for keeping it that length of time. Do your best to keep data updated by putting a quality process in place and make it easy for your customers to update their personal information for accuracy and completeness. Your data subjects can request to restrict or stop processing of their data if certain grounds apply, mainly if there is some dispute about the lawfulness of the processing or the accuracy of the data. You should also be able to send their personal data in a commonly readable format, either to them or to a third party they designate. Take the comprehensive course to learn more about cloud security architecture. In this course, you will get hands-on experience using the NIST CSF framework for building a holistic cloud security architecture. The course offers downloadable templates that you can use in your own work. Go to cloudsarc.org to get a course discount and discover more resources for cloud security architecture.